Hi guys, Martin here from Filed Coast Marketing and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can track your website visitors using Google Analytics. Now if you're not currently using Google Analytics or something similar then you really need to be and there are three main reasons you're going to want to be doing this. First of all, you should really know how your website visitors are actually finding you. Now you should know where your website visitors are from, i.e. their location, whether it's local, national, international. And you also need to know which pages on your website get the most traffic. And this is what I'm going to be showing you in this video. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Google Analytics website, which should look a little something like this. And to get there, you just type into your address bar, google.com forward slash analytics. Now, providing you already have a Gmail account set up, it's really easy to get registered with Google Analytics. And if you're already signed in to your Gmail account, you can just select Access Google Analytics. Now, if you've not registered yet, this screen should appear. It breaks it down into individual sections. So sign up for Google Analytics, step one. Step two is add the tracking code to your website. And step three is learn about your audience. So from there, you just have to click the sign up button on the right. Now, once you've signed in, it should bring you to a page that looks a little something like this. And the only thing that you need to worry about is filling in these boxes here. So the first box, it asks you for your account name. So just the general analytics account name would go there. It then asks for your the name of your website, so your company name. It then asks for the URL, so your domain name, mywebsite.com, for example. You can then select industry category, although you don't need to. What you do need to do is select the country that you're in, followed by the time zone. And then all you need to do from there is select get tracking ID. Now, once you've selected that button, it actually gives you a snippet of code that you need to copy and paste on your website. So ideally, you need to save the code and then give it to your web developer so that they can place the code on the website. And once this has been placed on the site, it usually takes a few days until you start seeing some reports come through. Okay, now that your code has been placed on the website and you've given it a few days to gather some results, you're then able to log back into your Google Analytics account and it should look something like this. Now, I host numerous websites, so you should just be seeing the one. I'll just pick an example of a website to show you and then select all website data. So select the name of your website and then all website data. Now this will bring you to your dashboard, which basically shows you all the information regarding your website. And this area here on the default page shows you an overview of the last 30 days. So as you can see from these results, it shows you the number of total monthly website visitors. It also shows you the number of total page views, and also the average amount of time that people spend on your website. And you can also change the date at the top. So if you'd rather see a weekly breakdown as opposed to a monthly breakdown, then you can do that too. Now, if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can actually check the location of your website visitors um, on the demographics section. You can select the language that they speak. You can see the country. You can even see the city that they're in. You can also see how they're viewing your site, like, like which browser they're using. You can see which operating system, and you can even tell which internet service provider they use. So the possibilities, they're endless. Now, the next section I wanted to show you actually breaks down where your web visitors are coming from. So on the menu on the left, you need to select acquisition and then select all traffic. This will give you a breakdown as you can see here, it will give you a breakdown with all the information. So it details if the traffic is coming from Google search or Google AdWords or maybe a social media account or anywhere else on the internet that's sending traffic to your website. Now, by knowing this, you can then see which aspects of your marketing are working best. OK. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you is how people are actually using your website, i.e., once they're actually on your website, which pages do they visit? So if you click the behavior tab on the left, which is there, and then select overview, it actually tells you which pages on your website get the most website visitors. 
Now, it's nearly always the home page, the one that gets the highest number of website visits, which is this um, forward slash. Um, but it's always interesting to know which of the other pages on your website are drawing the attention of your website visitors. You'd be surprised to know that it's sometimes the pages you least expect actually get quite high number of visitors. So make sure that you check this section of analytics as regularly as possible. Now that's pretty much it for um, this video. Now we could spend all day going over the different sections within Google Analytics. So I'd advise you just to have a play about with it. Now the three areas I've touched on are the ones that I use most of the time and they're probably the most useful for small businesses. So I hope you found this video useful. Please like the video and then subscribe to our channel to get more helpful videos like this. Thank you very much and I'll speak soon.